Well, some people pop pills to get to sleep, and now some parents are doing the same thing with their kids. Vince Vitrato has a warning about sleep supplements and children. Well, experts warn that sweet dreams aren't always just a supplement away. For Mindy Barnett, putting her toddler Julian to bed was anything but a dream. It would take him sometimes two hours trying to fall asleep, and it essentially required me to rock him in a chair. That all changed when doctors suggested over-the-counter melatonin, a synthetic form of the hormone our bodies produce to help regulate sleep. He falls asleep within 10 minutes of taking it. Mindy isn't the only parent tucking her tot in with melatonin. While it's commonly recommended for children with certain neurological or developmental disorders, a growing number of parents are now giving it to kids with insomnia. Families have heard from others, they've seen on the internet, um, they've seen it on TV that melatonin may be a useful product and an easy fix. But many experts warn it's not a cure-all. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine says melatonin is generally considered safe for children to use temporarily and under a doctor's supervision. The studies that have looked at melatonin use um, in children, um, both in, in typically developing and special populations, have found it to be effective, um, in particularly in reducing the time to fall asleep. But Dr. Owens cautions clinical studies on long-term side effects are lacking. One of the concerning issues is that melatonin does have an impact on the systems in the body that govern puberty related changes. And while they say melatonin is non habit forming, Dr. Owens is worried about psychological dependence. I've actually had five and six year olds who ask their parents for their melatonin dose at bedtime. As for Mindy, she plans to put the melatonin away soon. I think as long as you don't abuse it and it doesn't carry on for years and years and years, there's nothing wrong with it. Before starting any sleep medication, it's important for your pediatrician to rule out medical or behavioral sleep issues. Vince Vitrano, today's TMJ4.